all moving down to the new shopping mm. area. Yeah, that's the danger, isn't it? And I said, well, what's the point of, well, yeah, apart from that, what's the point of costume? Why can't we have two? Mm. They'll do their sums, won't they? There'll be something else that will pop up there, but I just hope it doesn't spoil Castle Street. It'll be a shame if Castle Street ends up with empty shops because of the new... Well, place. Boots is going out of the Britannia, so there's one. Mm. Dunelm's moving, because it's a big, it's a big, um, great, big Sainsbury's. And uh, it's going to have a TK Maxx. And yeah, I wonder when they're opening, I miss TK Maxx. <coughs> what else? The girls were saying there was a few. I think I don't want to next. Isn't there going to be a next? I don't know. I think I keep next, so I'm not really that fussed. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that will bring more people in generally, but it could hurt Castle Street. Castle Street, Street will yeah. hurt Castle Street, it'll hurt the market. Yes, uh, yeah. But why we can't have two costs? It's silly. Mm -hmm. So money. Well, we know it's down to the bottom line, don't mm -hmm. we? Let's oh, face so, it. Yeah, I'm not going to open another one until the next. I'm not a great fan of Costa or any of these places. I'd rather go to an independent place. Well, there's another place opened up um, up the top end of Castle Street and before it becomes a pedestrian area, the Pestle and Mort. Have you seen that? That's opened it up. I think that's a coffee type shop. Need to replace. Mm. Little. Oh, yes, I've seen that. Yeah. Yes, they do know what you mean. That yes. was busy on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I never, I, I just go in for an hour on Saturday sort of thing, so I never stop for a coffee or anything. But well, I only was there because <coughs> I was at the class. That's the only reason mm -hmm. I went. But uh, yes, it was, uh, that was busy. Yes, it there. does look nice. It's next to the Polish shop. Yes. Mm. It got raided because they were selling fake cigarettes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's, it's all going on. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens when they open up Regent Street. Yes, yeah, that'll be good. That's, um, that was just the death nail, I think, whoever designed that. <laughs> Toss pot in London, probably. Somebody's saying, let's have it out. Nice and quiet and cafe barish. And, and none of them worked. A lot of them shut shame. down. That's a shame, yeah. I don't know how those businesses have kept going, but they have. There is a nice jewellers on Regent there Street. Is. Yes, that's oh, very nice. They're very helpful, but I don't know when that. Um, the stone broke. It was an open the stone broke. Oh, they were really good at sourcing another one that was just the same oh, yeah. and putting it in. And you know, it took them a long time. So I went. They rang me each time they'd found an opal that was the right size, and I'd go in and say, "No, nope, wrong colour." And I'd go back. I think I went back about four times. And eventually, well, it's no good yes, point having it if it's not right, is it? <laughs> and it's. it's Similar to what I'd had before because it was a lovely colour. So now they're really good. But again, I don't know how they make enough money because they're sort of tucked away. Well, there's a lot of people. A lot of people I know sort of say, well, you know, go there for other things as well. You know, a lot yes. of people have recommended it. Because <coughs> I was going to have something made for these, these for our twenty fifth, but that I'm not obviously not bothering now. Been in God.
ever have a look in a couple of the charity shops. I didn't do the ones at the far end, which might be better, but not one of them had a cup and saucer. <laughs> not typical. You'd think, wouldn't you? Because usually yeah. they've, they've got lots of them, and just when you want one. I've got one in um, one of the charity shops in Earl Shulton. Mm -hmm. I've got a lovely dessert plate, saucer, and china cup. Smallish one, but nice. Um, one pound fifty. Mm -hmm. um, and they've got a, a couple of others, so I, you know, I thought, oh, I can knit back there. But I thought while I was in Hink, not one. I didn't do the ones around the corner down by uh, Bet Fred down, you know, down that corner. But oh, I'll, I'll have a look in Hinkley first. But now. Well, yeah, they've become kind of popular, you know, yeah. little tea shops and teas and teacups and saucers and... Yes. I know my husband hates it. He likes a nice big mug of tea. <laughs> oh, I only like a China this mug. gentrified place, are we? Uh, no, I like a China mug. went to Allsthorpe, uh, Palmer's at Allsthorpe, mm -hmm. getting out the Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I went to a Paloma Faith tribute. Oh, thank you. For us, it was good fun. It was good fun. The girl actually had a fantastic voice, fantastic voice. But I did feel for her because she was on her own with this electric, clever electric machine, which did all her backing. Oh, right, yeah. And she would normally have had somebody else with her, but he couldn't come or something, some, something happened. Uh, so I think she did really well. And she did look slightly like her, slightly like her. So. Uh, she got everybody up though, and at the end, dancing and... Oh, well, that's the main thing, <laughs> so, And it was a really impressive meal at Palmer's. I didn't realise they did such nice meals. At Palmer's? I, mean, I don't know if they normally do. But Palmer's yeah, on the, the way into Forest Park. Yeah, the, the, the food's always good, it's always busy. But, um, I mean, I haven't been there for anything for years, because I, I go in and buy things, but I never stop for coffee. Or do anything. you not? No. Oh. <coughs> the only reason I go is to get a coffee. Yeah. Um, and so I was really impressed. Yeah, the meal, it was beautifully done. And all the, all the people had given up their evening. You know, the kitchen staff, there's yeah. 14 of them all given up their evening for the last evening. So it was a really nice atmosphere. Yes, people go to, like, I went last, was it Wednesday? I think Lee and I went up. Just because he'd not been out, really. Um, and people were coming in for the breakfasts. Yes, yes. And they're, they're doing afternoon teas now. And That's right. Pudding yeah. Club now. And you know, they're, they're really developing a restaurant, I think. But yeah, they've got a very good chef. The vegetables were done really nicely. I was saying that's such a good taste. Yeah. They weren't overdone and they weren't, you know, there was a really nice selection. You would have approved them. Mm -hmm. These veggies. <laughs> Yeah, because the um, Enby's um, Palmer's at all stops is as good, you know, with the food. And yes, yeah. The food's beautiful. All, you know, all freshly cooked and the things, you know. Maybe we should just go for, to a garden centre for our Well, that's what, thing. Well, that's what I, yeah. That might be a nice idea. We could look at the plants at the same time. <laughs> Try not to buy anything. Yeah. I was looking for some artificial flowers, but I was a bit disappointed. I've got a, I've got a, a wholesale ticket for country baskets, but it's at Loughborough, you know, I'm just not in the mood to be going up there, to be honest. I don't think this building is built for upstairs, Oh it? my goodness me. As if they're going to come through the ceiling.
I was um, watching a bit of YouTube last night, this girl in following. Um, she'd been to the works and she bought some like colouring books. You know, these therapy oh, colouring no, books. These good gosh, isn't it amazing how colouring books have taken off? But I have to say, I, didn't, I hadn't looked at them the way she looked at them. Because they're so cheap, you know, you can, um, um, I thought, oh, now why didn't I think of that? Because she does journaling and stuff. I said, oh, just okay. take the page out yeah. and stick it in your journal and, you know, use it background. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's a clever idea. Yeah. You know, sometimes things are so obvious, yeah. you don't see them. She went and she got, um, it was in the sale for three pounds, when she got to the till it was one pound fifty or something. Oh, that's great, what happens? And it was originally <laughs> about twelve quid. So I might, I don't know, I might go up to the woodlands tomorrow and have a, and have a look, because they've got works there. I don't have to go into Hinkley then. So I went to the works on Saturday looking for some stuff and I got a couple of uh, crafty bits which for a pound, you know, a pound each, but were rather good. at the weekend as well. <laughs> midges. My friend came back from um, Italy uh, last week. Her legs, her two legs are a mess. Oh really? Mm. I said to her, I found out the burst, there was blood all over her oh, like oh, a tight. So mm -hmm. she'd been for some antibiotics. Um, and they were awful, okay. right? Terrible mess of legs, but mm. yeah, God. So, I felt really sorry for them. They were so painful. They look, you know, so painful. Yeah, it can be. It can be really unlucky. Sometimes you get bitten and it doesn't seem to be all that bad and other times. I know, hers were really just bad. horrendous. Yeah. I'm surprised she didn't go to, you know, find a chemist while she was away. They were in such a bad state. Are going to just go away. You always think, oh, well, tomorrow it'll be better. Tomorrow it'll be yeah, better. But they're not. Oh, I was murdered with them the other night. Just when they get warm, I just don't know what to do with myself. Oh, my lotion just didn't help at all.
CIS cybercrime thing starts on fire? <clears throat> yes, it's just started. I still haven't watched last uh, season. We've got the last three to watch. Because we've, we've watched the, the last CSI. Yeah. Um, the, very, the very first CI, you know, CSI started it all off. Yeah. It was good. Though Nick and Jules weren't in it. So I'm assuming they must have hived themselves off somewhere else. Because mm. I like Nick Stokes. So they weren't in this one. think Grissom was the best. Yeah, I wonder what he went into. He went off, well he comes from Chicago and he has um, a theatre up there. Ah, right. And he does stuff up there and theatres and... Right. It's like the actor Jeff Daniels. I don't know if you know him right. from Dumber and Dumber and all that. He's brilliant. He um, he has a theatre in um, Chelsea, just not virtually up the road from where we used to live in Michigan, called the Purple Rose, because he named it after the film chance that he got with um, Woody Allen's movie, per the, the Purple Rose, whatever it was called. Purple Rose of Cairo, that was it. And he's in the new movie, The Martian, as well, by Ridley Scott. Oh, yes, I want to see that. Apparently, it is excellent. Oh, that's got good reviews, isn't it? I like that. I just like Ridley Scott's stuff. He's British anyway, but I just love his stuff. I want to go and see that suffrage as well. Yes, Suff yes. Is it suffragettes? Or suffragettes. Suffragettes, yeah. Suffragettes, yes. Yeah, so well, anything Meryl Streep's in is usually good. Okay. And Carly and... What's her name, Mulligan? Mulligan, Carey. Carey Mulligan, yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, as it says, that, it's giving moment. you a, a, a much um, clearer picture of the suffragettes. They've always been sold to us as sort of rather yeah. silly, genteel ladies. Who they were never that. You know, and they were real toughies and mm. incredibly brave, incredibly brave to do what they were doing Well, Emily time. didn't really go to chuck herself under the doors. <coughs> she didn't do that. <coughs> shook herself, she went, but I don't think she meant to die. Mm. Because um, where she come from, um, Lee's cousin lives in um, on, a, on an estate that's named after one of the roads up in um, Morpeth. Um, it's named after her. Yeah, I didn't realise how um, aggressive they were. Oh yeah, we're not talking yeah. about you know mealy mouth. But uh, oh no, I mean I know they weren't mealy mouthed. I mean, they were tough. They were very strong. They had to be, didn't but, they? Um, I didn't realise they set fire to houses and actually, you know. Did you not know that? No. Oh. Well, not no, really. No. no. I mean, not that they were. You know, they did the. I didn't think it was as, as aggressive as it was. Well, he touched a bit on that in drama at, at um, uni. Oh, aye. Some of them were really bolshy. If they hadn't been, we wouldn't be here where we are oh, today. No. Thank goodness mm. for them. Because we didn't get full emancipation until 1927. I think when the house. Was it the housewives that some law came in or something? I can't remember what it's called now. Married Woman's Property Act came in, I think it was 1927, and gave like full emancipation from men. And you can have your own money and your own property and all that sort of stuff. Well, not every 
everybody could vote, not every man could vote. You could only vote if you had property oh, and stuff, no. didn't you? It was all oh, no. very uh, elitist, wasn't it? Supposed to be going to see Pan with the Hugh Jackman in it next week. Mm -hmm. That looks quite good. But The Martians had terrific uh, reviews. People have no thing to see. At least read the book. Mm -hmm. It's a very technical book, isn't it? Because my husband's read the book and he's saying it's all very technical, but she likes. He likes all that technical stuff and he's intrigued as to how they can get that all in. Well, apparently the girlfriends were saying they were fantastic. But Ridley Scott, you know, is an uh, awesome director. Because he used to always have Russell Crowe in his movies, but he seems to have fallen out of favour. week in America, every weekend. So cheap. About that bus crash in Coventry. Oh, yeah. I don't know much about it, but he was in the town centre. Yeah. Did the driver fall asleep or what? Don't know. I missed it on the news this morning. I thought it might tell you a bit more, but mm -hmm. I missed that particular. No, they yeah. don't know. It might have been the technical fault on the bus. Oh, oh. But you know, yeah. if he was conscious when they got him out, so it might have been a fault, you know, on the bus or something. And that bloke from Glasgow has been done because he was driving his car. Oh, and he shouldn't. Idiot. I mean, he knows the whole world is against him. 
What an idiot to do that. As if somebody wouldn't report him. It's just... I mean, it's unbelievable. Some people just haven't got any clue, have they? They just have not got a clue. It's, well, it's not funny, but the girls were telling me on Friday um, that this really nasty, nasty neighbour who lives in this street reported this woman to the benefits people. Um, you know, this bloke was coming every, you know, staying some nights and going home and stuff. And anyway, they rang her up and had a conversation. And she says, well, why are you ringing me? I don't claim any benefit. <laughs> and they rang up and they said, oh, no, you don't, do you? <laughs> Is that a bloody checking first? Amazing. To see whether... So that know, was just a nasty neighbour trying, trying to make trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it blew back on him somewhat but you'd have thought they'd have looked first wouldn't you mm, yes. instead of ringing the person up that is really stupid anyway. yes. I went to try and do my pension the other week I'm going to start again the bloody site was down so I'm going to have to go and start again let's claim it to go till it comes in, hopefully. Well, once you do get through to the pension people, they're pretty good. Well, I, could do it, I can do it online and claim it yeah. online um, from the pension because I've got the P45 yeah. and all that, so I can just do all that. It will make a difference next year. It'll be mine. Oh, mine. Ooh. Oh, God, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> She'll be off. Has to go in here, here I come. Has to go in here, here I come. But I'm not used to having dinner at midday. God, a shock to the system. Why are you doing that? Well, Leah's on two ten, so I, I give him a meal when I dinner before he goes out. You see. Mm. It's all very confusing for Molly. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Little dog.
What's your hope of wine coming on, Julie? Um, I think it's coming on all right. I've not seen, not heard anything. But when's it? When will it come to fruition? About Christmas time. Oh, perfect. That's really nice. Yeah. I meant to say the girl at the new craft shop, she's going to start workshops as well. She's going to start workshop. <coughs> well, that's interesting. Um, glass painting. I think she's going to have a couple before Christmas. Um, and, you know, something else. And if there's anything like, you know, you wanted to get in and she could source it, she said she will. I must go back and have a look at what Tim 2 Gallery's doing because they do some nice things as well. Yeah, their season started now, September to December. A lot of it's just the, the same stuff. Yeah, I'm quite, I do like Claire Brailsford. They, she does, you know, watch this, but she also does just drawing and painting classes, which oh, is really right. what I would like. I don't know her. To go to the what's um, it building, Atkins building, and see if I can meet this Sarah Inky Mole, the illustrator. She's got some fabulous stuff out there. They've got a Christmas market coming up, haven't they? Yeah. They're usually have some good yeah. My neighbour is there. She's got a kiln and she does reds. She sells stuff there. It's nice. The Concordia do one sometimes as well. Do they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's a bit, a bit limited for space there, that's the only thing. <coughs> well, it's nice to see the Atkins building full, you know, because you often go and it's just, it's half empty. It just sound good. And, and also, it's not that, um, it's expensive. Yeah, so I know. I was really surprised at it. Claire was telling me, she was just saying it's, you know, because she was thinking of having an exhibition, maybe with a couple of others, but she just said it's prohibitive. I suppose they have to make money some way, but you'd think it would be better for them to have somebody in than nobody in. Yes, exactly, yeah. It just seems odd. It seems odd. Because there's another building um, off Druid Street that was a mill, which is now in little unit, crafty units as well. Because mm -hmm. I had a look there, but he didn't have... the space that I wanted at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Which was a shame, but anyway, it was a lovely building. And there's what well, is that near the Atkins building? It, um, no, it's no, uh, it's like I can't, it's down off Druid, is it Druid Street on the very bottom? There's like a mill at the very bottom, and he's got it all in into units. And in one of the units, um, there's crafting and there's a tattoo parlor, and there's a girl selling vintage clothes. There's a vet. Is that at the bottom of Stockwell? Mm. No, 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 it's the other. If, if you go past B and Q going out of town, you know, yes, you go going out of town. Yeah, and you go to the traffic lights, go straight across. Yes. And I think. Always down on the left somewhere, it's is it? Not that road, I think there's another road up and it's Druid, I think it's Druid Street. You turn down there, you go right down to the bottom. So it's it's left, yeah, left not the big the main house. street. Yes. Oh, it's the next okay. little street along. I think there's a co-op, not a co-op, or cost cutter or something on the corner. Uh -huh. you turn left down there and go right down to the bottom. On the right hand side there's an old mill. Ah right, yeah. Um you can know where you are. And on that corner it's in units and stuff like that, and it's and it's got a big room that they let out for parties and mm. they do coffees and alcohol and Stuff like that. It's a huge room. It's a beautiful room for a workshop. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that the parking's rubbish. You can park there, but you know if anybody comes, the yes. parking's you know the yeah. parking's a bit crap. But it's a lovely building. Got a lot of illustrators uh, in Hinkley that do work for big companies.
Kim, I think, got park at Stockwell Head and, and walk up to the Atkins building because that's just as it's easy to park there as park anywhere else. Yes, yeah, I think it is. I don't know where the students park. They probably don't. It must be somewhere, I mean, that's a start. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. Unless they've got a dedicated spot yeah, somewhere. Unless they've got a secret place. That's <laughs> <laughs> all they know about. Yeah. behind you, Julie? No. No, this one isn't all right. I mean, not that I'm cold. I don't know if anyone else is cold, but I feel I just said to see if it works. It obviously doesn't. <laughs> so that's not. Perhaps you not put it on because it's quite warm. <coughs> I thought she said she'd put it on. October it's seasonally mild. I took money out yesterday. I was absolutely roasted when I came back. It was so warm, wasn't yeah. it? It was weird. I went out, I was bucketing with rain, I thought oh, it was going to be cold in the garden. It wasn't, it was really warm. It was. It was I had <coughs> jackets on, coats on and stuff. You're and peeling I it all off. Back and I was yeah. absolutely <laughs> oh it was strangely warm. You don't really know what to wear in this weather, do you? <laughs> That's right. They were saying that on the radio this morning. You go up all, go out all decked up in your winter woolies and you're stripping off halfway down the street. I love autumn. I love all that. Yeah, it's lovely. Looking at it. My friend's uh, suffering with the um, um, hurricane Joaquin at the moment. Oh gosh. Yeah, that flooding. All that flooding? Yeah. Is that where she is? She's in Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina. Dreadful. Um, Built Nicholas, people. Nicholas' sister lives in North Carolina. And she says that they've been lucky they've not been touched by yeah. it at all. Yeah, it does look like that. Well, after um, Hurricane Sandy, the Jersey Shore, when we went to New York, that it was just a mess. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went, we we emigrated when um, Katrina hit New Orleans. Oh gosh, yeah. And they're still clearing that up oh, ten I years know. down the road. Oh, yeah. Bloody rubbish.
about um, ferret for some um, cones this afternoon. Quite a few still on the floor, so I'm going to have a fight off the squirrels. Yeah. Can't be really nice to come because that's fine. It's such a pity you can't eat them. If you should, they look gorgeous. They look as if you should have to chop them up and fry them, yeah. put them in a frying pan with a stir fry or something like that. I didn't know they're poisonous to dogs. Oh, are they? Mm. I didn't know that friend of mine um, put it on Facebook. But another lady was saying that her dad called them lucky beans or something. Mm. He always carried one in his pocket all his life, she said. Well, they're a bit like worry beads. They're lovely things to feel. You know how people just yeah. are so smooth and gorgeous? I got a three-er in, in a conker packet yesterday. <laughs> a big one and two babies. Yeah. Really big, some of them, though, this year. Much bigger than last year. Four huge horse chestnuts down by Croft Cemetery. We used to go down there with the children in the autumn time and just collect hundreds and hundreds of them. It was really nice. Beautiful trees. A friend of mine said she just has them in a bowl with light twinkly lights in. So I might do that actually with some of them. So I might have another field trip down there today with our Molly. Take two bags. some wicker hearts at home in different sizes, white ones, you know, so I thought I might spray the conkers and stick them on there, sort of make them into reeds with a bit of ribbon on it or something. Mm. It always seems a shame to do anything with them, they're such gorgeous yeah. colours. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do with them, but... but you try out. You try out to go dark around. Weekly though, don't they? Mm. You can varnish them though. Oh, yes. them, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get your nice and safe. But I thought I might yeah. spray the old ones. And um, put them on these um, heart wreaths things that I've got. I've got silver and gold spray. So hang on and wait till we go to Javis and get a couple of, uh, I can get sprays from there that are, you know, trade price. So I don't know, we'll see. A friend, my friend's son got married, uh, she, they live in America, they're English. That's where we got our Molly from. And um, their son got, got married I'm assuming he had a normal wedding because he calls this his second wedding and it was a predator themed wedding. You know the film Predator? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had they were married by this bloke dressed up as Predator. Mm. And uh, oh, <laughs> he's in the business, you see, he's um, on Nickelodeon in um, children's programme, he's lovely as uh, Nick. Um, very talented artist. I'm surprised he didn't go down that road, I have to say. His mum and dad are from Sheffield. He was born in Sheffield. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, Matt's got to, went to California and he's, you know, after a good few years, you know, he's become what you call an overnight sensation, even though he's been working at the job for about 15 years. You know? <laughs> so, uh, Go 
and I saw pictures, is Grant, is Bet, is Nan still alive? I can't believe it. She must be 90 now. Mm -hmm. She looked fantastic. <laughs> the big hat and right. lace and, oh, she looked brilliant. <laughs> Bet, she looked lovely. <clears throat> It's nice to see them. Yeah, we got Molly off them. They've now they live in now live in Sedona, in Arizona now. Retired. something to eat this morning, mm -hmm. porridge. I was once at a meeting and the woman next to me her tummy was so loud, much, much louder, really little tiny delicate noises. 
It was going <laughs> churning away. Oh dear. And what do you do? I felt so sorry for her. Everybody yeah. could see it was her. And she just had to sit there completely stony faced and pretend. We all pretended it wasn't happening. Mm. But it was really loud. And every time there was a break in the proceedings, the noise would go loud. And somebody would try and interrupt so that you didn't hear it quite so much. <laughs> Oh gosh, I really felt for her. I mean, we've all had moments like that, but I've never heard a tummy like hers. It was so like me. She must have had tummy problems. Yeah, my I, I don't know why, but my st I've got a nervous stomach at the moment for some reason. Yes, but yours are just delicate. I get those. <laughs> it's very delicate. But no, she was. It was growling. It was like an animal inside her. Oh dear, that's embarrassing. And you don't know whether to say oh, bad luck or just. Keep yeah. pretending that nobody's heard. <laughs> oh dear. I I've, very good. I just I've, had, I've had my porridge and everything this morning, so just I do have a nervous stomach occasionally, but it's really kicked in just yes. recently. Yeah. And an acid stomach as well has kicked in. Well, nerves do make a difference to your tummy, don't they? Definitely. Yeah, I've had a nervous stomach for a long, long time, and now that things have settled down a bit, it's decided to kick in. <laughs> it's been holding itself together. Yeah, I think that's what it is, actually. You've been, you've been stoical. That's what happened to somebody I know on Facebook. She just kept going and going and going. And then her body just had a complete, you know, breakdown. Mm. That's a shame, yeah. She had an adrenaline failure or adrenal failure or something and she had to take all this stuff and buy a special sun machine and <coughs> it's a shame. And the same's happened to her again, so she's she's having to cut back on stuff and let other people do it. It's like when you're in church and you stu and it's dead quiet and then your stomach and this and they're so because churches are so like echoey. Yes. Mm. I was once at a funeral and I got mm. the most awful tickle in my throat. Oh. And it was right in the middle. I mean thankfully I was quite far back. I was right in the middle of a great long row with sort of six people on either side of me. And I could not stop coughing. Oh. I was just oh. Awful. I wanted to just sink through the floor. People were looking at me and I was like, shut up, stupid. I thought, well, I'm going to make even more dis it'll be more disruptive if I try and get out. Yeah, I know. Because everyone will have to stand up for me and I'll shuffle across and then so I just you know and how you know when you're going absolutely purple and you think you're going to explode when you're trying not yeah. to you go <coughs> Yeah, and that makes it worse. And it makes it that's <coughs> Yeah. And I just I thought I was going to die. I what thought the person awful. whose funeral it was was probably having a bloody good laugh oh. about it. Well, knowing him, he probably was actually. But the uh, yeah, other people weren't too pleased with me. But it always happens in situations like that, doesn't it? You just like, uh, open up the ground, please, and let me go, let me die somewhere. We say worse things happen at sea. I don't know why they say that. I know, this is a stupid thing, thing, isn't it? Really? I know it does, but it's a stupid thing to say, you anyway. know.
you were doing your screen printing, did you make your own screens? Yeah. And did you make your own squeegees? No. I'm just wondering, because I've just stretched a screen from an oh, old yeah. frame that I yeah. had. And it's 14-inch 40, indentation. Do you, so need, do you need a squeegee? Yes. I yeah. I mean, one. <laughs> oh, well, I've got a little one, but what I want is a I heavy one. have a bigger one. I want a heavy one, but it's... Yeah. Oh, that's not nice, good. It's, it's an odd size. And what I've done is I've, I've ordered some squeegee stuff, just the heavy-duty stuff that you use for cleaning a window. Mm -hmm. Because the actual stuff, you know, you can buy the, um, the rubber that goes into the squeegee. Mm. But you have to buy it in three metre lengths, mm. um, which is really quite expensive, it's like 30 quid or something. And I just want a piece like this. Mm. <coughs> and I've been trying to find, I was trawling the internet yesterday to try and find somewhere that would just sell me one piece. You know, mm. that really thick, yeah. heavy duty rubber. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, 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 worn, it's a bit worn, you know, it's been used. <laughs> what size is it? But it should be okay. What size? Oh, sorry, um, well, I've got one fairly big one, and one slightly smaller. Um, oh, well, well, let me know what size it is. Oh, that would be interesting. Thanks. Um, <coughs> If I can get the rubber, Colin's going to make me the the wooden handle, you know, because it's nice to have a nice heavy one. Oh yeah. I know I can buy I can buy lightweight mm. ones, and that, that's but it, I'm looking for a a nice heavyweight one. Mm. Um, but as I say, it's it's 14 inches is what I wanted, and I thought that I'd be able to buy the stuff just, but I, I can't find anywhere where, where I don't have to buy the mm. great long roll, or else just yeah. buy the just by the, um, the squeegee. <coughs> I should have liberated one from school when I left because I don't think they ever screen print now that I'm not there. I think I was the only one that ever screen printed. <coughs> With my groups. Just a shame. It's not considered worth anything, is it, in these days? It's got to be maths or chemistry or physics. Or oh, no, but I mean, within the art department, you know, we, we sort of did our own takes to, you know, with the older kids, we could offer yeah. different things. And, um, Vicky used to do glass, because she specialised in glass. That was a lovely thing to do, so. And it's just, you know, you sort of tend to go with your speciality. Yeah. I, I'd printed a lot, so I, I did printing, but I don't think anyone else now is doing any printing. I did a printing class, not last year, <coughs> Stoke Golding. Mm -hmm. The trouble is there was too many of us and not enough equipment really. Oh, well, that's a bit frustrating. Yes. It was somewhat. Yes. But it was in, you know, it was... Yeah, it I mean, that's enjoyable. the thing is you can't do printing with many people. I mean, if you have too many people mm -hmm. on. I used to do it as a sort of after-school club sort of thing. Because in a class of 28, I mean... I don't know, I, I can't remember how many went, but there was, there just wasn't enough to go around. Yeah. So what were you doing? sort of waiting around? Yeah, it or? was just, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Were you having to share screens? Yeah, and, oh, yeah. It's, That's a bit naughty, mess. really. That yeah. is a bit naughty, taking on that. Yeah, it, I mean, okay. it must have been more than 10. It must have been more than 10. There certainly wasn't a screen each, so it was just a mess, because you had to walk, oh, it was, yeah, yeah, it was a bit, yeah, I don't like that sort of thing. Yeah, it isn't, no, it wasn't, I and, mean, yeah, some of us were, weren't very, I can't remember, it was Beanie, was it something Beanie? I can't remember now, we weren't very happy. No. It was interesting to do, but the friend and I were like, oh, for goodness sake, you know. Mm -hmm. We spent most of the time waiting for, yeah. for the cutting, screen. Cutting your stencil or, or yeah, and it was, waiting. Or... Yeah, and some people 
um, a bit hoggish and yes, yeah, yeah. Weren't impressed. Well, I'm looking forward to the um, Leicester Print Workshop opening in their new premises, which Where is going to be at the end of this month. Where they are moving to near where the, the Phoenix, the new Phoenix is in Leicester, near Staples, <coughs> near oh, right. St George's Square. All oh, right, across across the road from St George's Square, near the near the Phoenix. So they're going to be open to the public. It will be. It's really run for. It's um. You can go in there and uh, every now and again they will have sales of their prints. So in that sense, it's open to the public. But it's really for people who want to go and learn. So you can sign. They run. Well, that's what to me. That's what to me. Oh yes. yes that's what I mean. Yeah. 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 You can sign up. You can look at their website, Leicester Print Workshop, All right. and you can sign up for one of their courses. They're very good. And it's all different kinds of printing. They do a lovely one on bookmaking, which you might like actually. What level? I think that would be I've, I've done a little bit of bookmaking. Sarah Curry does one of those. Yeah, I did that in the, in the States. Oh. I did enjoy doing the signatures, I have to say. And, uh, I don't suppose they won't do calligraphy though, there, will they? <coughs> it's just printing. No, printing. That'd be interesting now. I always like to learn for years, but I used to do enjoy making the books. Have to look at that. You would have liked to have watched, um, well, you would like to have spoken to Alexis who came last night. Uh -huh. uh, she's a graphic designer uh -huh. and, her, and she does calligraphy. And she, on my birthday card, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I love penmanship. I've got a couple in my wish list in Amazon I want to get. And it starts work. So we're having um, my Dory travel notebook and the, 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 like the planner are all back. Penmanship's coming to its own again. You know, it's like what pen are you using with your Midori and you know, all this sort you know. Mm -hmm. People are looking at the different types of pens and what you can you know, what you can do with them. Writing seems to have come back into its own. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. Hanging in there. I think I must keep going to eleven. Until <laughs> <laughs> almost eleven. Lot of stuff from dryads, yeah. particularly printing stuff. You know, they died a few years ago. No, I didn't I used know. To think, I thought they died, or maybe they just disappeared from Leicester. But uh. when I was looking online, there's a place it's called is it Hobbycraft that's Leicester based? Homecraft. Homecraft, is that right? Yeah, I think there isn't a Hobbycraft here. Uh, I think oh, it was oh. Homecraft who. who they're sort of the name the over. Oh, that's right. Well, Homecraft are sort of the grandchild of Dryads, which I didn't yeah. realise. Yeah. And Where are they based, based then? Well, they're based in Leicester. Oh, I don't know right. exactly where, but they've got a really nice website. Now, I've always skipped past it before, but I was actually looking at it, and it's got lots of lovely little videos for different things like screen printing and, you know, liner cut and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I was really impressed, actually. They've got lots of nice stuff. I didn't actually have what I wanted, but <laughs> colossal nice stuff anyway. <coughs> but yeah, I don't 
know if dryads actually exist anymore. <coughs> they used to be able to go down now. Instead of continuation of Hind Cross, they used to be down there. Yeah, but then they didn't they move up St George's years ago? I don't know, do they? I mean, maybe yeah, because they do I, I, I remember I used to get plaster of Paris and everything from them. Uh-huh. And moulds, you know, rubber moulds for making garden and ornaments yeah. and that. And are they, so are they still around? I don't know, I don't know. I've got the impression from this home craft, that's what they're called, um, That the dryads were now gone and they were sort of replacing them. But right. Mm. Right. Coffee, tea. I love circles. I love that circle. <laughs> Very therapeutic. It is therapeutic. You can see it from a distance. You can only left those little bits. Yeah, they're, um, yeah it's that is. one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to put bodies on it. Oh, that's nice, Julie. Becoming impressionistic. <laughs> it's nice. Isn't it? mm-hmm. Get it nice and soft. Yeah. It's very really nice. to do floating bodies on it. Floating bodies, that's mm. interesting. Mm. <laughs> floating bodies, as in male and female form. Oh. Which raise them up, oh, yeah. I think, yeah. Oh, right. I don't know why, but I just fancy doing that pass. I've no idea yeah. why. Yeah. Oh, mm. They're nice colours as well. They were very good. Yeah. Mm. I've had these for ages, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get all this stuff out. No good hoarding, and they don't do any good. Oh, is it the, the same one as last time, or? No, a new one. A different one. Is this one of your flowers? Yes, what I took at the Melbourne show. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's coming on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you do it so quickly. <laughs> I couldn't do it as so quick as that. No. I mean, I've just done that little bit <laughs> this morning. Yeah. <laughs> the middle of the pumpkin. <laughs> Looks like it's about to go ping. Mm-hmm. Turk's head. I like it. Don't like the stuff that's in it, but I like the shape of it. Oh, excuse me.
Yeah. Mm. I like the colours in that. I like that very much. Mm. Thanks. Mm. today. I bet she's forgotten. Yeah. Have you looked at the James pictures this week? Yeah. The Cumbria thing. Yeah, very good, aren't they? I met her at the, in the car park on the Wednesday as she was going away. Yeah. She wasn't really looking forward to it, I have to say. Right. She says with them having strokes, she said it, it, it does make it difficult. Yeah teaching and it's not just the teaching it's the surroundings and so it's really really tough so she, she doesn't know why she does it mm. so if you feel like that don't do it anymore up there you know it's a long way to travel isn't it well it's so it's up to Cumbria. Yeah, it's not too bad. But oh, it's, it's two hundred miles, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's it's more than that. Where are they up near Keswick? She's near Alverston, which is right on the on the point. She go, you go up and turn left, and so yeah. you keep on going to oh, and, and Barrow and Furnaces as far as you can go. Yeah, well, Alverston's yeah. before Barrow. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it's you know. It takes sort of two and a half hours to get to where we want to go. So you put an hour, another hour and a half on top of that. Not from here? Yeah, it takes us two and a half hours to get up north from here God, to Warrington. You, you must be travelling at speed. Be the, cheapest, the, the, the quickest I've ever got up, up to Keswick and that is probably four and a half, five hours. No, to Warrington is two and a half from here and then if you add another normally uh, no it's not because it's not that far it's halfway and then if you add from Warrington to Keswick's about another hour uh -huh. well you used to go quite often at weekends yeah normally it would you could, you could estimate five to six hours to get up there mm, no it would take us that long to get to up to Morpeth it's be always the same time as it would take down to get down mm. to Devon. Yeah. So I'd say it would take Jane about four and a half hours to get to. Right. All the to say. I like Keswick. Yeah. Real nice county town. Yeah, you love walking, don't you? So that's that's. 
walking must be nice. Yes, yeah, yeah. a nice relief. Yeah. Been round and had a walk. Yeah. Everybody's. I love those colours. Yes, I'm just go together, really playing well. with my little stamps yeah. that I made. Yeah. <laughs> Doing lots of little stamps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the minute. That looks very digital. That looks very digital. I don't work very fast. I'm, um... I'm waiting for the middle to open up and something to come out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, like, yes, it does because it's yeah, just sprout. I'll do a lot more with that. Is there a photograph at all? Yes. I yes. tell you what, that'd be oh. fabulous to stitch the colours on that. Mm. It would actually, yeah. Wouldn't it? On a, on a, you know, that would. I mean, be this looks piece. like batik just on its own, doesn't it? It looks like it's painted, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what determines the colours that go into these things. You know, mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. little bloke with the little tweezers. Mm. <laughs> There's no two alike, is there? No. Mm -hmm. Marvellous, really, isn't it? That was about the most interesting. Oh, I've never seen that that's fabulous that. My head of department at my last place grew about he had a packet of what was just um, a variety of gourds. And he sowed these seeds and they all came up and they were absolutely fantastic. They were about the size that each of them were about the size of a I suppose a small melon oh, or a big grapefruit. And they were all different shapes and size, uh, shapes and mm -hmm. colours. And they've been eating beautiful cool things. things. I hate yeah. squash. I hate squash. Yes, I don't, I'm not particular in these things, but um, they were beautiful to draw. So we had mountains of them. <laughs> Fabulous. I didn't know that you could grow them so easily. He, he said that. They were very easy to grow. So. One thing I liked about America for Halloween, mm. they used to bring all the all the squash oh, yes, and the gourds out. the pumpkins out. and the gourds. Yeah, for the, and yes. also for Thanksgiving. Yes. Because pumpkin pies. Yeah. De rigueur for, mm. you know, Thanksgiving. Yes. You, see, you go past these farm places, the shops and that, they just have the most amazing looking squashes. Mm. Never seen mm. anything like them, they were fabulous. Mm. It's, it's reached its temperature and that's it. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... This place needs good dust. <laughs> Not that I'm one to say, my house is full of the uh, cold gloves. I'm just looking down the backs of the chairs and thinking, oh, I could do with a good home. Mm. I don't think they look after it like the caretaker looks after it properly. No, so. I've, I've heard a few comments about the caretakers. I've been up there and I think, mm. Mm. I think there's a bit of a problem there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe they're... I think they're actually have a problem with them. one of the way or something. Or, so maybe they've had a problem <coughs> or something. But, um, what do you think? Mm. Ah, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yes. yes. Yep. As you say, very impressionistic. Yeah. Mm. 